everyone, thank you for joining me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would bring you the unboxing of my Product Purchase Premiere. For those of you that don't know, Product Purchase Premiere is a benefit of attending on stage. All attendees have the opportunity to purchase from a select list of products from the new annual catalogue ahead of everyone else. So today I thought I would share with you the items that I purchased. So I'm going to start with the items that I've got that focus on the new in colours. So you will have already seen these in a previous video of mine, but these are our new in colours for 2024 to 2026. We have got Peach Pie, Pretty in Pink, Shy Shamrock, Petunia Pop and Summer Splash. Now, when selecting my items for PPP, um, I focused mainly on the new in colours. So I have got the new in colour stamping pads. Uh, so it's, this is the full set of all five colours. I have got the Stampin' Right markers. Um, so these are, if I get one out and show you, these are great for some really fun techniques that I will be bringing to you very soon, but also for kind of adding small details in the coordinating colours um, on your project, for calligraphy, for writing in your cards as well, um, so that your writing matches the rest of your card. They have two ends. You've got the kind of brush tip and then like a bullet tip on the other end there as well. So that's those. And then as part of on stage after hours, I received the cardstock that I've just shown you, but also the in colour shimmer gems. So you get 150 in each packet. Um, so all five colours and it's two different sizes. And then I selected to add the resin dots as well in the new in colours. So two different sizes, all five colours, and you get 120 in total. Then I have got some ribbon. So this is the bordered ribbon. So this is three eighths of an inch or one centimetre wide. It's approximately 10 yards, which is around about 9.1 metres. This is available in all five of the new in colours and another new colour as well. Um, we'll circle back to that in a minute. Um, so this is in the colour Summer Splash, which is a firm favourite. It's probably the new in colour that I am the most excited about. And then lastly for my in colour products, I have got the in colour designer series paper. Um, so this is in all five colours. And there are four different designs. So you've got the spots, and then, oops, they're out of order. The flowers. Sneak peek there. So flowers and leaves. And then we've got the kind of mosaic and the stripes. And so this colour pack will be available in the new in colours. The returning in colours. Um, so they are the 2023 to 2025 in colours. So that's Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue and Moody Mauve. Oh, and Pebbled Path. Copper Clay, Wild Wheat, Boho Blue, Moody Mauve and Pebbled Path. Um, and they will also be available in each of the colour families as well. Um, so the Brights, the Neutrals, the Regals and the Subtles. OK, now I briefly touched on the fact that there is another new colour. Now, this might come as a bit of a surprise. We have got our new coming in colours um, for the last annual catalogue. We had a colour refresh, um, so several colours went away. Um, some old favourites returned along with some new colours. Well, for this catalogue, we have one new additional colour that I am very excited about. And that colour is da, 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 Basic Beige. Now, it is available in the cardstock, 
in stamping pad i'm sorry that reflection is probably very annoying um and also in the bordered ribbon as well so just to give you a bit more of an idea of what basic beige looks like um, I'm going to bring in some Sahara Sand for a comparison. So Sahara Sand is a colour that went away in our colour refresh. And you can see that actually Basic Beige is quite a lot lighter than our um, Sahara Sand that has left us. Um, but I'm very happy that this is joining us to kind of fill the gap Um so we've got, you will find it in the new annual catalogue together with the basic black and basic white um, and very vanilla as well. So very vanilla is staying, um, but it's nice to have a colour option um, that kind of fills the gap that Sahara Sand left. Um, somewhere between kind of the grey granite and very vanilla, there's kind of a bit of a gap there. Um, or between grey granite and white. It's nice to have something in between. So I'm very excited to get creating with that. It makes me very happy. I know a lot of people will be very pleased to have something in place of Sahara Sand um, because I think most people were very sad to see it go. Just put those to one side. And then, so I've showed you the comparison of Basic Beige with Sahara Sand so I thought I would do a little bit of a comparison um, with the new ink colours as well um, just because on camera it can be a little bit difficult to tell kind of what the true colour looks like so I'm going to bring back in my um, new ink colour cardstock and then I'm going to bring in some other colours um, some old some current um, just to give you a little bit of an idea of what the true colour kind of is. So I'm going to start with Summer Splash because as I have mentioned, Summer Splash at the moment is my favourite. I was very, very sad to see Bermuda Bay leave us. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, that looks quite similar to Bermuda Bay. And then I brought it home and I put it next to Bermuda Bay and thought, actually, they're very different. So a similar kind of colour theme, but the Summer Splash is a lot greener whereas Bermuda Bay is a lot bluer so if I bring in Coastal Cabana which is still a current colour oops let's take the Bermuda Bay away so it's a lot closer to Coastal Cabana and actually will pair really really nicely um, so that was it with kind of the Bermuda Bay so it's greener but more of a blue green um, than a true green like Shy Shamrock so that's Summer Splash then we'll go with petunia, no, peach pie next. Um, it's because I was looking at petunia pop, so peach pie. I looked at that and thought, oh, that looks a bit similar to pale papaya, which is a an old in colour. Um, but actually, pale papaya was a lot lighter. Um, so that's kind of the colour comparison for that one. And then pretty in pink, I thought, oh, that's similar to um blushing bride i thought it's a little bit more pink but it's similar but actually you can see they're really different um so then i thought i would bring in some bubble bath you can see bubble bath looks almost lilac in comparison so if i take the bubble bath away and then so this is rococo rose so it's kind of like it's kind of like Bubble Bath and Rococo Rose had a baby. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to have kind of a true pink because um, I think that's something that we've been missing for a little while. Then Shy Shamrock, lovely green. Now, I wanted to compare this to Call Me Clover and Just Jade, but I don't seem to have any of either. So we'll bring in some Granny Apple Green. You can see Granny Apple Green is a lot more yellow. Um, and then Garden Green as well is a lot deeper. Um, I probably should have grabbed out some shaded spruce, uh, but I haven't. So we'll, I'll do that when I create a project with Shy Shamrock. I will bring in 
some other colours, certainly in the kind of early videos this year, um, just kind of giving you that bit more of a comparison while you're still kind of getting to know the new ink colours. And then Petunia Pop. So I am going to bring back in doo -doo 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 -doo, Bubble Bath. Because I think Bubble Bath is kind of the closest, really. Because although it's a purple, it's quite pinky. Um, so that's it kind of next to Bubble Bath. Just to give you a bit of an idea as to what that looks like. In fact, I can bring in a swap handy here. So this is Fresh Freesia. And you can see the cut. Oh, you probably can't actually. That's a bit off screen. The colour difference there in the Fresh Freesia. So, moving on from cardstock and colours, I have got a new embossing folder. So this is the Dirty D Dotted Circles 3D embossing folder. Clearly, I need to put my teeth back in. So this is lots of lovely concentric dotty circles. And this embossing folder is huge. So this is our normal size embossing folder. Look, it's huge. <laughs> if I turn that round, it's actually twice the size. You could fit another one in there. In fact, let me grab a second one. Get this out of its packet. Mm, maybe not quite twice the size, but not far off at all. So, yeah, not quite, but pretty darn close. I think you could comfortably get two card fronts out of it if you wanted the kind of half design. Amazing. Very excited to play with that. And then I've got a couple of stamp sets to share with you. So the first one is Thoughtful Wishes. And this was demonstrated at, on stage by the lovely Emma Goddard. Um, she did a really beautiful presentation with lots of lovely ideas and the main reason that I was drawn to this set um, was partly the sentiments. Um, I think it's really nice to have kind of more general sentiments that kind of can be used for just because type cards. So you've got dearest friend, thinking of you fondly, thanks, missing you, I appreciate you, you make life better. It's also got a splat stamp and everybody loves a splat. Um, but the real kind of main reason I was drawn to this was actually the thistle. Um, and the reason for that, no, I am not Scottish. The reason I was drawn to it was because I actually had thistles in my wedding bouquet. So I'm very excited to be creating with that. There are coordinating dies. I did not get them. Um, I suspect I will come to regret that and will be... Um, going ahead and getting those at a later date. It's also a million sales achiever stamp set. And yeah, it's lovely. I love it. I can't wait to get creating with it. Then we had, we had several kind of stamping presentations throughout on stage. Um, and another one of those demonstrations was by the lovely Karina Voraberger. And I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly and I'm very sorry um, but she demonstrated the take to the sky bundle or oh, take to the sky suite sorry um, which includes the adventurous sky stamp set and coordinating dies so I didn't get the die set um, I had lots of ideas of things that I can do with the stamps and actually with some fussy cutting of the plane um, because I really loved the kind of sketched style um, of the aeroplanes and can't really couldn't imagine myself kind of regularly reaching for the dies to kind of build planes but the die set is really lovely and I'm sure there will be lots and lots of people who will be reaching for that often. So there's the stamp set and then I got the designer series paper 
goes with it. Um, there are also, um, in the suite, there are some trinkets as well, which are really lovely. Um, so this is the paper. So the colours that we've got in the paper, it's a short list. So we've got boho blue, copper clay, mossy meadow, knight of navy and smoky slate. Now this page I find very exciting. Um, it's kind of the cut apart, some tags that you can use, um, almost kind of creating your own memories and more cards. Very lovely. So it's two sheets of each design. Obviously each page is double sided. Lovely copper clay check. Some awesome aeroplanes. And then we've got nice blue kind of irregular check pattern love that the mossy meadow map really nice and then the smoky slate so we've got the kind of the like panels that have been kind of welded really cool and then some more planes Lovely smoky slate, smoky slate check. Goodness me, my teeth. And then, oh, isn't it dreamy? This lovely, lovely cloudy sky. I really love that. I've got lots of ideas. And then this kind of terrain map. And then some more lovely planes. So that was everything from my product purchase premiere. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed seeing the new product and now I'm going to show you a selection of swaps that I received. Um, so there's kind of a bit of a theme so they all have kind of a sliding element to them and I'm going to start with this one from my lovely Timmy. So this is from the lovely Kerry Timms who is at Simply Pretty um, and there were lots of lovely tasty treats inside but I have demolished them. Um, and this is with one of the online exclusive stamp sets. Um, so if you haven't spotted this one, go and check out the online exclusives. Um, and that's where you'll find it, the stamp set with the coordinating dies. Love it. And then that's um, the Zany Zoo designer series paper. And then from another one of my teamies. So this is from the lovely Belle at Inkabelle's Stampin' Spot. Um, using the lovely retro telephone and then so there was there was a tasty treat inside but I have eaten it and then how cool is this so this little treat box folds completely fat, flat amazing absolutely amazing love it there she has done a video on how to make it so if you would like to make one do head over um, to her channel and you can watch her create it over there do that in a minute okay then we have this adorable little one and this is from a lovely lady called Adeline she's got the little bit that slides off and then it opens out and there is this adorable little bee charm that I will be putting on my paper snips so this is from Adeline Hamaui I'm sorry I do try really hard to pronounce people's names correctly, but sometimes it's just, you just have to kind of guess and hope that you're somewhere close. Um, then we have this one. This is from Ashley Parlevier. That's horribly pronounced. I know it. Um, from Ashley's Colourful Cards. And it's this really fun kind of triangular. And there, there were tasty treats inside, but they were gone before we left Rotterdam so it's a really fun little project that I look forward to recreating in some way and then possibly the only treat that survived until now I'm showing you the video and then they'll be gone um, is this lovely little treat box from designer series paper that is from the lovely Carol at Carol's Crafty Carol's Cards um, and it's this little treat box with two biscoff biscuits in it. And the only reason that I haven't eaten them yet is because I wanted to make sure that the 
little box would survive the journey so that I could show you her lovely little box and she's included some lovely instructions as well um, so definitely one for recreating really nice actually to see a 3d project that's just using designer serious paper um, but rest assured carol i will be scoffing those biscuits with my next cup of coffee really cute love that i'm just gonna put it off to the side with the sleeve and then the last sort of sliding element um project that I've got to show you is this one which is from Kristen Maren van Dongen. Again I've probably pronounced it horribly so I'm very sorry but you slide this off. Now I have to be honest when I first opened this I squealed. You'll see why in just a second. So this lovely little box magnetic closure and then I opened it up. Oh, it has got a stamping spot size Versamark in it, which I have never ever seen before. I've never seen a Versamark that is that small and cute. How fabulous is that? And I'd never seen these before either. Little travels tic tacs in a tiny little box. I was very excited. Um, and I really look forward to, to creating this. So, this is another fold or almost fold flat. That doesn't quite fold flat, but the box folds flat. How clever is that? Definitely another project that I will be recreating. It'd be really adorable with um, kind of an Easter themed with some little eggs in, um, Christmas themed with like the little Cadbury Robins. Lots of fun things that can be done with that. And I'm so excited, so excited about my tiny little verse of mark. Makes me very happy. What is it? Why is it that? small things are just automatically more exciting because they're really cute anyway that's it from me today thank you for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this video and that you will stick around if you have enjoyed this video please feel free to hit that like button subscribe and ring the bell as well so you get notifications of my future videos i have got some lovely things in the works um to bring you some fabulous projects with some existing and then in the not too distant future there will be some projects with some of the new product as well um, at the moment the new product is will be available to pre-order as a demonstrator from the beginning of april it will come live to customers who are not demonstrators at the beginning of may so although i've shown you the lovely products that i have received and i will show you my unboxing from my pre-order as well um, i will hold off a little bit on creating with them so that um, you aren't too sad that it's products that you can't purchase the supplies for if you wish to. Okay, so that's it from me. Um, just a little reminder actually while I'm here that um, the 2022 to 2024 in colours will be retiring at the end of April. So if you need re inkers if you need more cardstock if you need anything else that is in the 2022 to 2024 in colors you need to get it now so that is the sweet sorbet the parakeet party tahitian tide starry sky and orchid oasis they will be leaving us at the end of april so if you need anything in any of those colors now is the time before they are gone Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.